Hey there, Slavis here, back with another episode of Dark Cloud. We're in Yellow Drops right now. We're going into the moon, onto the moon, the moon sea. We're attempting to find the moon people's leader. Oh cool, we got in a cannon. Okay, so that's how we got into the dungeon. I was wondering. Moon sea. All right, and there are Atla here, so that's cool. There's our landing pad. I get thirsty quicker on this floor. That's that's all right. Should be fine. Goodbye. A treasure chest containing a handle. What's this? There's a sign. Test your courage. Use item with square. I don't think I would use the handle for that. No. Okay. I'll have to see what that is. That's for the back dungeon. So, what do you do? Nope. Nope. You need long range against you. Okay. Ah, here's what the crank is for, or the handle. Yeah. There we go. Now we can cross this. Let's use... I think Ruby's weapon is at the last one. Yes, secret armlet. And Gaga's is getting there. Oh, cool. Whoa! Excuse you, Mr. Bug Guy. I should probably actually just use Toen for this. We've got three Atma here. So we have Elephant Emblem. And we have Crown. And we have Parts FTR. Only two more enemies, so I'm assuming one of them has the key to get out of here. There it is. Gunpowder. That makes sense. The being a cannon. Whoa, stop that. Now we're gonna go ahead and use that gunpowder to escape this floor. I'll get in and get launched to the next floor. And we're attempting to find a Colosseum here. I'm not sure where that is. I get thirsty quicker here, too. Okay, that's good. Alright, so I just completed a ruby-only floor. And I did acquire the Bravery Launch, which is the item to access the bonus dungeon, or the back dungeon. So I'm gonna do that on this floor. Oh no. Alright, so here is the bonus back dungeon. Bravery launch. We're gonna test our courage. Hey, we made it! Moon bugs for everybody! Alright, so the Dark Cloud plus 8 is getting another upgrade, and now it's able to build up to the 7th Heaven, which I believe is the final weapon here in this line of weapons. Yes, it is. Cool. 7th Heaven. The Toen's final weapon. Now, for Ungaga's final weapon. There we go. Floor 8 is where 
where the event happens. Oh no, rabbit dude. Hurt? Huh? What's happened? Oh, that's right. During the test flight, the body fell apart. Darn, I wonder what, 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 what went wrong. In theory, it was supposed to be perfect, and I thought I saw a part turn into a weird ball. Maybe it's just my imagination. Oh, and who are you? Well, anyways, let's go back. That must be the boss of the moon people. Seems like from Blue Terra. Why here? Genie? Oh, that. I saw it with the big telescope. That's, that's not much evil. The Blue Terra folks need help if they are troubled by so little evil. What? Seal it? You must be kidding. A ceiling? That is, like, extinct. Yikes. No one in Yellow Drops knows how to seal, probably. Isn't that when you put something into an urn or something, right? That is impossible. Wait up. I haven't said no yet. I just said the sealing technique was difficult. There's a cooler way than sealing. Just knock it down. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I will take care of it. Count on me. Here's the plan. I'm in the process of making a so-called sun giant. Seems legit. It's the state of the art of yellow drop technology. Let's say it's like a supersized golem, to make a long story short. The sun giant could easily knock out Genie. But then this very sun giant ran away and broke into pieces during the test drive. The magical gem we have now is not powerful enough to support the sun giant. We need a Pez Sphere to make the sun giant perfect. A Pez Sphere is one of the most powerful of the magical gems. If we use that, then the sun giant will operate at its best. It has been put up as a prize for a match at the Coliseum. If you could win the match, then you can acquire it. Easy to say, but winning a contest, it takes hard work. That means let's join forces. Good call, Osmond. Osmond joined the ally. Is now joined... It said Osmond is now joined the ally. Good. Alright, I'm gonna sell some stuff and we'll go see if we can build parts of that giant super depth robot. The giant robot's going to be in this building here, the Moon Factory. I've got the space here for it. I wonder if there's any treasure here. I'll, I'll check for those on my way out. But we have different parts. So let's start with parts HD, which is parts head. And then we have parts arm right. Wait, what would that be? Yeah, that would be his right arm. Parts arm left. Parts HGR, so shoulder. That part. Foot right. That's it for that. Now, when I pick up this part, it, and set it in here, it automatically connects to those, but only one way. So that way, that way we know it's facing the right way. There are lots of items on the ground here. So, let's see if we can hook up any of this stuff here. The crown? Alright. There's that. Do we have the eye? I don't think so. 
<laughs> Looks like we got the shoulder done. No, the arm. Cool. The hand. And part of the arm. Looks like we'll be able to finish the left hand. Now what about the shoulder pad? Looks like we're just missing a person for this one. done. What about the lookout? Oh yeah. So we'll put that just over here for now. So this is our giant armored robot now, so far. It's getting there. Alright, so I've gathered all the treasure in the area. And I think I'm gonna have to end this episode here. In the next episode, we'll continue on through the Moon Sea, hopefully get to that Coliseum, win the Pez Gem, Pez Sphere, and maybe try out Osmond a little bit. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me in the next episode. See ya.